We are approaching 30 years since a deadly mass shooting in our own backyard that many people may not even know about. It happened on a train car on the Long Island Railroad. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan was the first reporter on the scene. She joins us now with a look at an upcoming documentary about that tragic day. Almost feels like yesterday, Jen. It does feel like yesterday, although so many people have never heard of mm -hmm. the Long Island Railroad massacre or of Colin Ferguson. But I wanted to share some memories with you that I had just gotten home from work moments before. I had been uh, circling the Statue of Liberty in a vintage aircraft honoring Pearl Harbor Day, December 7th. I walked into the house. Here I am cooking dinner for the three little kids. The phone rings, and it is a CBS news executive saying she had heard that there's an employee from CBS on a train from Penn Station to Garden City uh, via a walkie-talkie professing that there had been a shooting on the train. Well, gosh, I'm thinking that's impossible. I grab the camcorder and I start walking down the block, two blocks to the Marilyn Avenue train station. Absolute chaos, pain, shock, you know, people running out mm -hmm. bloody. There were ambulances pulling up, police, uh, just, you know, stretchers coming out. And for the next days, weeks, hours, pretty much, uh, it was just our story, especially for our Long Island camera crews, too. It was among our nation's first mass murder, 19 shot and six killed. Devastating. And that violence really propelled a local nurse into a life-changing mis mission. And her only child critically injured, her husband shot dead, that is Carolyn McCarthy. Mm -hmm. And she was encouraged by her community really to run for Congress on a gun control platform. She retired, as you know, after nearly two decades on Capitol Hill. Her mission never realized. Well, we traveled to Fl Florida for this 30th anniversary of the LIRR massacre and our documentary and Carolyn wanted to share some of her memories. I pulled into the driveway. My brother came out and just started, Carolyn, Carolyn. Dennis, he said, has died. Um, but Kevin is still alive and they're operating on him. But he was shot in the head. I will have to endure. Painful. Timely and constant rehabilitation to this madman's actions. Everything that I had wanted to say about my husband, you don't deserve to hear. Justice has been done, but I don't think you can ever say it's a happy occasion. I am announcing today that I am running for Congress. That's when I first won. Anything I could do to make sure this doesn't happen to anybody else. I will give my life to do that. Wow. The CBS documentary is produced by Carolyn Gussoff and edited by John Applegate. It also is uplifting, though, although riveting and emotional. Um, you'll see lives moving forward. In fact, we have a segment in our documentary of a woman who was pregnant at the time. Uh, she had her baby in the womb. She survived the shooting and just recently went with that baby, now an adult to buy her wedding dress. Wow. So, it's, you know, lives moving forward. They do, but the initial shock, I, I grew up on Long Island. I was working in California at the time of this. I'll never forget it. I was so shocked, so upset by what was happening in my hometown. And I remember telling someone in California about this, and he said, really, it doesn't surprise me. New York's a very violent place. Mm. That was the wow. perception mm. of this guy and others out there. But that's not at all the case. This was a true shock, and it still remains that, that way. A quiet suburban shaken to the core. And you said this memory is still very present in your mind. You live relatively yes, close by, so as you I live said. Close by and walk by there, and it's changed a lot because they tried to upgrade the station, but always the memory is there. Ever present. Wow. We're really looking forward to it. Jennifer, thanks so much for coming. Yes, thank thanks you. For and sharing that with us. And you can watch the documentary, The 533 Legacy of the LIRR Massacre, this Friday on CBS News New York, streaming at 8 p.m. and airing on New York 55. It airs on CBS 2 on Saturday at midnight. You can also find it on demand at cbsnewyork.com.